horseshoe crab right here. Let me come and pick it up. The cool thing about horseshoe crabs is they will swim right up to you. They're not afraid of people at all, so they're really fun to take a look at. Now their scientific name is Limulus polyphemus, and they're a member of the arthropod phylum because they have jointed legs. Now the horseshoe crab is shaped like a horseshoe. That's how it gets its name. It's got one eye here and another eye here. Those are compound eyes. They see really well. One of the things they use those eyes for is to find a mate. And then they have a little bump right here with a spot on either side. And a lot of people think they found the horseshoe crab's nose. But horseshoe crabs don't have a nose. They breathe through gills just like a fish does. Believe it or not, the two dots on either side are more eyes. They have 10 eyes in all. But eight of those eyes are simple eyes and they only see shadows and light. These compound eyes are the ones they see really well out of. Well, the horseshoe crab's body is made up of three different parts, the end part being their telson or tail. And there's a hinge here and a hinge here that helps them to bend even though they have a hard shell because they're an invertebrate and they don't have a backbone. Now, even though we call them crabs, they're more closely related to scorpions and spiders, and I think we all know that scorpions will sting with their tail. So people think that horseshoe crabs sting with their tail, but they don't. They have no way to hurt us at all. But a lot of people, to protect themselves, will pick a horseshoe crab up by their tail, and that's not a good thing to do because the tail is held on by that hinge right there. And it's not very strong, so if you pick a horseshoe crab up by their tail, and you have all the weight of the horseshoe crab on that hinge, the hinge could get hurt. And that's not good because they use their tail to steer them in the water. And also, if they're upside down like this, they'll dig their tail into the sand and that helps them to turn themselves over. Now, I know that this is a female horseshoe crab because she does not have hooks in front. Only the males have hooks in front. All of her feet look exactly like her front feet which are pinchers, and you might think, oh, she could pinch with those feet. But those feet aren't meant to protect her, so the pinchers aren't that strong. She can only grab a hold of things if um, there's a lot of waves around, and that helps to keep her in place. Now, she's digging her tail in. The reason she's doing that is she wants to turn over, but I've got a couple more things I want to show you, like her gills. She's got 10 gills right there. Those are book gills. She flaps them when she wants to swim and she also breathes through her gills. Now her mouth is right here in the middle of her body and she has bristles all around her mouth and those are her teeth. And they're not very sharp. They feel like your toothbrush bristles. So she has to eat soft foods like sea worms and baby clams. And she'll take a sea worm with these feet right here and put it right on her mouth. And then if you notice, she's got legs all around her mouth. So when she crawls, her legs move back and forth, which cause her teeth to rub together. And that's how she chews her food. But she does have a gizzard underneath that helps to chew her food a little bit more. So that's my horseshoe crab friend. She's trying to turn over, so I'm going to put her back in the water and let her crawl away. Thank you, horseshoe crab. Here's a horseshoe crab. It's a littler one right here. How cute is he? And he is covered with lots of seaweed and is really well camouflaged. You can imagine if he's dug under in the sand, he would just look like uh, a rock with a lot of barnacles and seaweed on him. It almost looks like hair, doesn't it? But I wanted to show you a male horseshoe crab has hooks in front. You can see them right here. There's one there and there's one here. Boy, he's a strong little horseshoe crab. And that's what he uses to hold on to the female shell. And you can see them taking rides all over the place in the water. Even if it's not spawning season, you can always see them running around together. Let me put him back. Oh, there's a little hermit crab. Put him right next to the hermit crab and let him take off. Well, that's it from Ipswich, Massachusetts. Until next time, I'll catch you later at the beach.